It was told that 100 years ago, there were control tribes, air, earth, water and fire, at first, they coexisted peacefully, but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked, there was only one person who restored peace, he was the leader of the four elements and also able to communicate with the spirit world, that person has the nickname, Avatar. Now 100 years after the Avatar disappeared, this story begins in a southern water village on a plateau covered in ice, seen two siblings who are hunting for food, he is Sokka and his younger sister named Katara, they both come from the southern water tribe, their parents has passed away because of fighting the Fire Nation. Now in the southern water village, Katara is the only person left who can control the water element, because she hasn't mastered it yet, she often gets her brother's clothes wet. The hunt continued, they followed the traces of seals, but the tracks stopped at a frozen lake, and there was something glowing in it, Sokka was curious and tried to break the surface of the ice, but the result instead caused great cracks and a large ice ball appeared from within the lake. Katara hit the ice ball with Sokka's boomerang, she was blown away, and because of that blow, the ice chunk broke and instantly the light shone up. After the light disappeared, they decided to make sure what had just happened, and after getting closer they saw a bald boy with a large animal lying in the cold, Sokka and Katara then took him to the village and provide a help, there, Katara saw this child had a tattoo on his body then she asked why he could freeze in the ice? But before answering Katara's question, this child thanked her for the help. And then he explained that at that time he and his animals were traveling, because of a storm, they finally crashed into the lake, and then Sokka came into the igloos were carrying a children who was trying to hide from the Fire Nation who had come to their village, the Fire Nation troops try to find out the light had been shining up earlier, the leader of the Fire Troops named Zuko, ordered his troops to drag out an old people, including Katara and Sokka's grandmother, not wanting anything unexpected to happen, Katara almost acted recklessly, luckily, that was prevented by Sokka. Meanwhile in the igloo, where the bald boy was, one of the soldiers who searched him was suspicious of him, because his clothes were different, after seeing this strange tattoo on his head, the soldier immediately handed over this child to Zuko. The bald boy asked to let the other people go if he wanted to take himself on board the ship, Zuko agreed, seeing the bald boy taken away Katara and Sokka couldn't do anything, because their village was threatened with being burnt if they interfered. After all the fire troops left, Katara was worried about the bald boy and intended to save him, she asked his brother to take responsibility, Sokka became burdened, because he realized that he could do nothing to save him. Until they heard the sound of a child who was excited outside, which turned out to be swinging at the feet of a giant bison that could float, that's when the idea emerged to save the bald boy by using the bison. When asking permission to leave, their grandmother tells something about the Avatar, a person who can control four elements on Earth at once, and why the Fire Nation was so excited about its appearance. Meanwhile, from inside the ship, Zuko's uncle named Iroh tests the Avatar, to make sure that the mark he has is a sign that he is an Avatar. Iroh put a candle with a burning fire, then the fire was blazing, the water that was poured made the water collect, then the stones, stones that were placed in front of him also responded. Seeing these events, Iroh respects the Avatar, who has now reappeared after 100 years of disappeared. Feeling that is the most valuable finding, which the Fire Nation has been looking for a hundred years, Zuko forces the Avatar to join the Fire Nation to be handed over to the Fire Lord, who is none other than his father. Avatar then refused and tried to escape. Finally, he able to escape and join Sokka and Katara again, seeing the precious prisoner escape, Iroh tries to keep Zuko's emotions in check so he doesn't get angry. And then Avatar invites Sokka and Katara to go to his village, a mountain that is home to a tribe of airbenders. At the temple which is located on a hill, Avatar doesn't realize that the Fire Nation has killed all of his friends, the temple monks. When he arrives there, Avatar tells Katara and Sokka that his name is Aang, while his flying bull is called Appa. Aang began to feel strange, because he saw no one in his village, only white animals flying towards him, while tracing the village Aang kept yelling to call his friend, Katara who had just realized something, she approached Aang, in a low tone and she talked about the dark events that had happened. Once did the Fire Nation, who killed all the airbenders. Because the Fire Nation knew that Avatar would be born from their kind. Katara is sure that Aang was frozen in ice at that time and just returning to his village, but Aang feels that he just left the village yesterday and he feels Katara lied to him. And then, Aang finds a necklace belonging to his friend who is now a corpse, and at that moment he believes that he is the last surviving airbender, so the reality that happened makes his emotions explode. In this mode, Aang entered his subconscious and was connected to a dragon spirit figure, but Aang realized because Katara kept calling out his name, meanwhile on a warship in the territorial waters of the Fire Nation, Zuko and Iroh were invited to dinner by a commander of the Fire Nation. His name is Zhao, but before the dinner begins, 
Zhao taunts Zuko in front of his troops by saying that having abandoned Prince Zuko for being weak, Zuko will only be acknowledged by his father if he brings back the Avatar. Commander Zhao's sarcasm made Zuko angry, before leaving, Zuko promised to bring Zhao to his knees, because he was sure he would drag the Avatar to the Fire Nation, meanwhile on the way, Aang, Katara, and Sokka, were surprised by the appearance of a Fire Nation warrior who was chasing a girl, and the girl ran into them, to hide its identity as an Avatar, Aang immediately covered the tattoo on his head by using his hoodie. In order to protect the girl, Katara tries to use her abilities to drive away the Fire Nation troops, but again, Sokka becomes the victim, they were all eventually caught and taken to a village of Earthbenders which is the Fire Nation had enslaved the entire population at will. All Earthbenders are forced to work for the Fire Nation, from morning to noon, and from noon to night, from night to morning. With the oppression that occurred, Aang tried to awaken the population to rise up against the Fire Nation, and then Aang showed them that the Avatar had returned. Even though he succeeded in making the village free from the occupation of the Fire Nation, Aang said that as an avatar he was not strong enough because Aang could only use the wind element, while the other three elements were not mastered. When his teacher told him that Aang was the next avatar, Aang ran away because he felt he could not accept the task of an avatar who had great responsibility for the four nations, even though at that time Aang's teacher intended to train him to control the other three elements. And then Sokka suggested to Aang to go on a journey looking for a teacher who could teach other elements, not wanting to waste time, Aang started the journey. The king said that there was a child who helped the residents to rebel and had driven out his army in a region, the child claimed himself to be the Avatar, the king, Zhao prepared a cunning plan to capture Avatar, meanwhile when Sokka and Katara were resting, Aang decided to left for a while with Appa to meditate at the Wind Temple in the north. Arriving there, an old monk guarding the temple realizes that Aang is the Avatar, he welcomes Aang and shows him statues of Avatars from generation to generation. When Aang was watching the Avatar statues of his predecessors, suddenly the old monk apologized for leading Aang into the trap that Commander Zhao had prepared. Aang was taken to a room and tied to chains and he tried to enter the subconscious to ask for guidance from the Dragon Spirit. The Dragon Spirit then orders Aang to go to the Northern Kingdom of Water, because there is a great waterbender who can control Aang's process as an avatar. After communicating with the dragon spirit, Aang realized that he saw Commander Zhao in front of him. Commander Zhao was surprised because the avatar that should be hundreds of years old, why it was still a child. After confirming the avatar was shackled with Zhao, and then he spoke in front of the entire fire army. He said that there would be no threat the avatar could make. When Zhao was giving a speech, a mysterious figure wearing a mask was seen trying to infiltrate inside, while killing one guard after another, he entered the room where Aang was and tried to take him free, but his actions were intercepted by Commander Zhao, therefore, Zhao confronted the intruder who was trying to take away the Avatar. Without any way to escape, this intruder threatens to kill Avatar, a prized captive to Commander Zhao. As soon as they managed to reach the outer gate the arrows fired by the soldiers hit the intruder's mask, Aang who wanted to know the figure behind the mask then opened it, Aang was surprised because the man behind the mask is Zuko. Aang immediately took Zuko while he unconscious to the safe place. After that, he returned to meet Katara and Sokka to continue the journey, according to the orders of the Dragon Spirit, to go to the northern the Kingdom of Water. The Kingdom of Water that located in the Northern Hemisphere, hearing this, the King of Fire Kingdom mobilized his large army to hunt down the Avatar, as well as prepare to invade an area that had never been conquered, namely the Northern Kingdom of Water. Not long after that, Aang and the others arrived at the Northern Palace the Kingdom of Water, they introduced themselves in front of the princess and royal officials. And then, Aang shows himself that he is the Avatar, the only remaining windbender. Due to a royal honor that they were visited by avatars, the princess named you allowed them to stay and study waterbending, Aang continued to practice day by day under the guidance of a water elemental master, Aang was finally able to master the element quickly. With the tense atmosphere, Sokka tried to lighten the mood by taking Princess Yu for a walk, the two of them telling each other life stories about the water tribes of their respective tribes. At this moment it looks like they fell in love with each other. After sailing across the high seas, the Fire Nation finally came with its fleet, which consisted of dozens of warships and prepared to invade the region. Meanwhile, Zuko, intending to get ahead of Commander Zhao's troop, finds the Avatar and begins to move into the Bastion, through the underwater passage. While the Kingdom of Water was busy preparing its troops, Zuko saw Aang running towards somewhere. 
You and the others took Aang to a place that was sacred to the Northern Water Tribe, so he could meditate to meet the Dragon Spirit. After that, you and Sokka returned to see the emergency situation outside, while Katara chose to stay where Aang was to meditate. Not long after that, Zuko, who followed them, appeared while carrying a torch to attack Katara. After defeating Katara, Zuko then brought Aang whose consciousness was in somewhere else. Aang returns to see the Dragon Spirit to ask how to defeat the Fire Nation, the Dragon Spirit asks Aang not to hurt anyone, even though the Fire Nation makes chaos everywhere, not all residents of the Fire Nation are evil, but only some people make it look evil. Because the main task of an avatar is balancing the Dragon Spirit, then ordering Aang to finish the war wisely. And the only way that Aang can stop the war is with ocean water. Aang woke up already bound, when he saw Zuko, he tried to escape, at the same time the conditions outside were getting chaotic, the Fire Nation troops began to break into the fort, in the midst of the war that had already started, Commander Zhao told Iroh that he had information about Weakness's waterbender. While Aang was fighting Zuko, Katara came to help him, through the water element, Katara managed to make Zuko freeze, Commander Zhao knew that his water bending abilities would get stronger when the moon is appears. He has immediately drew up a floor plan to trace the place where the incarnation of the moon spirit, which is the source of the power of the waterbenders, after arriving, Zhao immediately caught the fish and tried to stab it, even though General Iroh forbade it because it could upset the balance of the world, but Zhao still did it. No! Realizing that General Iroh is in a rage, Zhao runs away, meanwhile without the spirit fish, all the waterbenders lose their brand abilities. Seeing this, Princess Yu was very sad. She intended to sacrifice herself to save her people from being colonized by the Fire Nation. Sokka, who started his meeting with Princess Yu with love, of course forbade her to do that, and because there was no other way to revive the Moon Spirit, Yu finally sacrificed herself. After the condition recovered, four waterbenders immediately confronted Zhao, and Zhao died in their hands. Meanwhile Aang still doesn't know how to control the water, so when he ponder, he remembers his friends and teachers who had to bear the consequences just because the Avatar was born from their nation, Aang's feelings immediately flowed. With the power of the Avatar so frightening, Aang was finally able to expel the ships of the Fire Nation and stop the war. After a while, Katara and Sokka help him down the stairs, the film closes by showing the Northern Water Troops and Fire Nation troops gathered to wait for Aang to come down, to pay respects and acknowledge that Aang is their avatar. And that was the storyline of The Last Airbender, thank you for watching this video, I hope you are entertained and see you in the next video.